All right, so if you guys have any sports cards laying around, maybe you inherit uh, you know, card collections or coin collections, whatever it may be, we are talking about this every day on the channel, what these things actually sell for at auction. Here's a 1933 Babe Ruth card. It's the big lead chewing gum card here. This is just awesome. Uh, as you can see, it's got a very low grade. It's graded at a three. This isn't no Jim Mint 10 stuff, but this is a very rare card to have, and that's why the card sold for $20. $20,000 at auction, graded by PSA. All right, here is a 1979 Wayne Gretzky Opeachy uh, card here. That is uh, at a Gem Mint 10. So can't get better than that. Gem Mint 10 by PSA. This card, you would not believe what this card sold for. This card sold, hold your breath, for $1. 0.29 million dollars almost 1.3 million dollars for this Wayne Gretzky card unbelievable uh, that someone paid over a million dollars for a piece of cardboard as much as I love sports cards there's no way I could ever pay a million dollars for one all right here is a box of 1987 NBA basketball trading cards this is the Fleer uh, box and this box ended up selling at auction for over $16,000. And of course, that's because people want to open the boxes, get out the rare cards, have the cards graded, and then sell the cards for more than what they paid for for the box. So you got to you know think about making money there. Uh, include your favorites, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and more. All right, so here is a Michael Jordan card from 1987, that Fleer card from 1987. Graded by PSA at a Gem Mint 10. This card sold for $23,000. So it sold for more than the Fleer box sold for. Um, so keep that in mind. That's how you make a little bit of money if you actually got 16000 laying around and you can take the risk of hopefully finding a Gem Mint 10 Michael Jordan in there. All right, here is a 1991 Topps Desert Shield Ken Griffey Jr. card. Now, a lot of people have these cards. They're very common, but what you want to look for is that gold desert shield uh, that is on the top right of the card. Uh, those are the ones that are, uh, you know you really want to look for. And to have it at a Gem Mint 10, very, very rare to have it in this condition. Graded by PSA, and this card ended up selling for over $18,000 because of that grade. Now here is a Kobe Bryant card, rest in peace, uh, at a pristine 10 by Beckett. It is the 1996 to 97 Topps Chrome card here, and this card ended up selling for over $15,000 at auction. So if you've been holding on to sports cards for a long time and you haven't opened any boxes, now is definitely time to, uh, to do it and research which cards you should get graded and cash out. Here is a 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James Black Refractor card. Uh, pretty nice. Gem Mint 10. Can't get any better than that by PSA. Number 284 of 500. This card ended up selling at auction for $480,000. Nearly a half a million dollar card. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Here's another LeBron James card. It's a Super Fractor 1 of 1. Uh, 2004 Topps Chrome card, again, Gem Mint 10 by PSA. This card ended up selling for $720,000. Unreal. Here's a Steph Curry rookie card, uh, Topps Chrome 2009 Refractor, and it's at a 8, graded at an 8 by PSA, but the card still sold for $26,000. So it really depends on the population of these and specific grades. And, uh, of course, um, you know, this is his rookie card, number 210 of 500. So it depends on the card uh, that you have. Uh, if it's numbered or not, it's a refractor. You know, is it got an auto? What grade is it? All those things matter uh, when determining the value. 26 grand there. Now, here's a Luca uh, rookie card, Donruss Optic Black Velocity from uh, 2018 to 19. And this card is at a pristine 10 by Beckett. And this Luca card ended up selling for $38,000. Can't beat that, man, for a modern card like this. Just so unreal. Here's another example of that that is uh, even more mind-blowing. This card sold for $198,000. 
Again, a Luca rookie. That is the 2018 Panini Prism Red Shimmer, uh, graded at a awesome Jim Mint 10 by PSA. $198,000. It's also numbered one of seven. Here is a Ja Morant. Love Ja Morant, man. I'm in Kentucky. Uh, love his story, how he uh, went to a you know smaller college, of course, and uh, ended up being very successful. So here's a 2019 Panini Select Ja Morant Green Disco Prism, graded by PSA at a Gem Mint 10. This card is numbered out of five, and this card ended up selling for over $16,000. 16 grand for a 2019 basketball card. Here's a Justin Herbert card that has not been graded. It is numbered one of five and it is signed by Justin Herbert himself. It is the 2021 Prestige football card here. I mean this is awesome. A 2021 card ungraded sold for $14,000 on eBay. Can you believe that? 14 grand, someone's gonna sit on that and hope for a return on their investment. If you guys wanna see more sports card videos here in the future, let me know. We'll probably have a couple a week going forward as well as our uh, typical everyday coin videos. So don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.